Hey guys, this is just a video to show you how to get your LED light strips working again. I have two different types. I have one that uses this type of remote, and then I have another one that uses this one. And one is adapter based, one is USB based. I'm going to show you how to fix both of them. This is the USB based one right here, as you can see. And this one's already on. I always do this if you have problems so take it out see how it's faced this way if it doesn't work in if it's not working faced one way turn it around and plug it back in and it should work that's always something that you have to understand like it doesn't work one way just because it's not designed like that they don't tell you in the instruction pamphlet or anything you have to pretty much work that out for yourself but yeah change your four pins around and it should work and if it doesn't um, so this is plugged in the one that I'm just using right now is plugged into my computer my computer has enough power but if you're using like a TV and your TV is not on your lights will not work you have to turn your TV on or like a stereo you'll have to turn your stereo on for it to get enough power before it will start to work so the lights will actually turn on but yeah so this one uses this remote so once you have tried that step with the four pins changing the, that around um, go to your remote and check the battery in it see how it has this little square part here on its own you have to pull uh, sorry pull to the left I have to do this with my leg, pull to the left and then pull up at the same time for it to unlock, to come out um, and make sure, okay, so make sure that it goes back in this exact way so the remote's facing this way and the writing on the battery is facing upwards now the battery may be dead or you may not even have a battery at all so you have to check if the LED remote actually even has a battery but the battery could actually be dead by the time you receive it see how it's got a number on it CR2025 that's the width of this battery and the type of battery that you'll need for this some are thicker some are smaller so yeah make sure that you have this type exact same number battery for this remote and then all you got to do is either change the battery and plug it back in and then it should work um, just know that if you want to get one of these batteries they are called cell batteries or coin batteries and you can get them at like Walmart or if you're in Australia like me Coles and Woolworths or Big W something like that Okay, now for the other remote, this one, this is for, see that one with the blue light, that one plugs into an adapter, so this is for this one, the receiver is right here, see, so this one obviously works as well, but same thing, check the battery in it, if not, what you gotta do, and this is actually very important so you may have a faulty um, one of these may be faulty see how it's got the blue light on that is showing you that it's working take it out put it back into another slot so put it back into the one next to it see how the blue light's on but look for example take it back out Put it back in there may be a time you know where it's loose and the light doesn't even come on so you have to like wiggle it around a little bit or pull it out and push it back in and firmly push it in because mine's loose look see how it's loose firmly just like push on it until there's a light yours may not have a light on it if it doesn't have a light on it um don't panic you just have to get it in the right position it may just be loose 
So like for example, if it's not working, say for example my light's not on, um, like I'm going to just wiggle it around a bit, push down on it, and then try it again, and then put it into a different slot, and then do the same thing, wiggle, wiggle it around. Of course they are very touchy, very sensitive, and cheaply made, so yeah, the worst outcome could be that you may need a new adapter, but hopefully it's just a matter of case of uh, wiggling it around or putting it into a different slot, and it should work. So hopefully that helps guys, uh, like the video if it did, and comment down below if it did or if it didn't. I have a lot of other ways to help you with your LED, light strip and remote. Thanks for watching the video guys.